Welcome to the eighth episode of uh, Experience Matters. And once again, today we have with us uh, one more uh, guest of honor, Mr. Sayantha Midya, joining us right from the Indian Statistical Institute, ISI. He's currently pursuing PGDBA, that is Postgraduate Diploma in Business Analytics. And uh, today he's going to speak with us. He has a, an avid experience in the industry uh, pre-joining this uh, uh, coursework. He has worked uh, uh, 2.5 years in the core industry. And today he is going to talk about his journey, his experiences, and what is PGDBA all about. You know, we have been hearing lately a lot about PGDBA and its happenings in the country. The course is getting popular as well. So, uh, Shayanto, uh, handing it over to you, how are you uh, doing right now? Thank you, Samuji. Thank you for having me. I am doing perfectly fine. So I have joined this course on 7th of August. So I have finished my uh, one month of pre-semester at IIM Calcutta. And right now I'm doing my first semester at ISI. Great, great. Uh, so uh, I'm doing fine. Uh, fantastic, fantastic. So let us uh, straight away come to the discussion uh, as we are talking about PGDB. And this is a term that is new to the industry. Uh, you know, uh, somehow it has come lately after MBA. And so I would like to uh, like you to enlighten the audience with what is PGDBA all about? And when you actually pursue PGDBA, what is the course structure like? What is the fees? What is the back strength? Uh, what is the average salary like? And then some other interesting things about PGDBA as a whole. And what is the structure of PGDBA like? Uh, so PGDBA basically is a postgraduate diploma in business analytics. It started in 2015. Uh, basically, the concept was to get the student uh, a hand on business analytics as the uh, current demand is booming and there is not enough professionals uh, out there. So the basic concept uh, behind this course uh, pedagogy is uh, that uh, the three stalwart institutions like uh, IIM Calcutta, ISI Kolkata, and IIT Kharagpur they came together and sit and uh, they discussed about this unique course and they made a very interesting uh, course structure out of it and this is the basic uh, moral behind this course and i think uh, uh, like for uh, you mentioned the uh, course fees so course fees is uh, 24 lakhs and the batch strength is 60 so and the uh, Coming to the course structure, so basically in the, uh, there are four parts. So in the first part, uh, like it's, uh, if you remove the uh, pre same that is happening in IIM Calcutta, there are four major pillars. For example, in the first semester, it is done in ISI Kolkata. So in ISI Kolkata, the, they focus on the computing part for data science and the statistics and math behind it. And in, IIM, in IIT Kharagpur, in the second semester, they focus on the technology aspect of the uh, course. So like ML models and basic implementations, data science laboratory. And in IIM Calcutta, they focus on the business domain, the domain expertise, that the implementations of that particular uh, knowledge that you have in that particular field. And uh, cherry on the top is the fourth semester is because that in fourth semester, you will get hands-on experience in the industry. So various uh, uh, companies, they visit us uh, for the internship of six months. So this is the final uh, like coursework. And after that, uh, there is a summer placement. So most of the uh, like placement happened uh, during the internship also. And people got PPOs, like there's a very high conversion rate. So this is the overall structure of this course. Great, great, great to know that uh, three different institutes have come along with and uh, tried to produce a majestic experience altogether. Uh, so first uh, semester will be covered by ISI, followed by second semester in IIT Kharagpur and third in um, Calcutta. And you are going to get an overall 
uh, uh, structure in business analytics and how and uh, why it is done. And fourth semester is going to be dedicated internship period. So since you talked about so many institutions, uh, uh, Shanta, uh, my next question to you is going to be how tough it is to get through this course. Because you mentioned that the batch strength is just 60 and 60 uh, uh, countries, top 60 maybe uh, studying in the institute, you being one of them, how tough do you think it is to get through? And can you please let us know the, the process of, uh, of, of uh, getting through uh, the, the coursework and uh, what are the prerequisites if you want to get into the course? Uh, how to do it? Yeah. Uh, so the prerequisite is uh, nothing as such. Like uh, if you have a 10 plus 2 plus 4 or 10 plus 2 uh, plus 4 plus, uh, sorry, 10 plus 2 plus 5, or if you have 10 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2, like uh, you need to have master's degree if you are coming from a BSc or a, a BSc background. And also people with uh, uh, like, People who joined after diploma, uh, after the uh, uh, like, di after diploma and then BTEC are also eligible. And uh, there is a minimum 60% uh, marks that they should have in their undergrad. That's the uh, eligibility criteria. And uh, coming to the process, so PGTV has a separate exam. It, uh, uh, it uh, they conduct it after GATT. Uh, because of the COVID, the dates were uh, changed. Uh, year by year so for that you need to check the websites and uh, so after the interview there is a shortlisting process uh, on the basis of cutoff and uh, then they take some uh, 400 plus uh, people for the interview for 60 seats and then the final uh, list is uh, made based on your work ex marks and your uh, 12th marks and the interview scores so that is a basic process. Great. And how tough, so it's basically a relative term. So you, that I can tell you the main difference between CAT and PGDBA is in PGDBA, uh, they require some uh, extra uh, knowledge in quant part for basically the out of 50 questions, they asked 25 questions were on the quant, quant section. So uh, apart from CAT syllabus, they also ask linear algebra, uh, some uh, calculus. Uh, it's basically J main level calculus. So you need to be you need to brush up uh, your school skills. And uh, in interview, uh, I think they ask uh, some uh, college level maths also, some basics of AI and ML. So interview preparation is different, uh, but. Uh, for the test part, it's more or less cat level. Great, great, Shatta. Uh, since you are from the core background, you know you have you have been associated with the manufacturing domain for the last two point five years. How tough or how difficult do you think is it for a core engineer with a core workex uh, background to get through into PGDBA, which is about business analytics, a completely different domain? What was your preparation journey like, and what are the preparation tips that you would like to give to the ones that are aspiring for PGDBA and trying to shift from core genre to business? Uh, so basically, uh, for the uh, uh, examination perspective, uh, you don't need to, you don't need any coding background, and there's no prerequisite as such. Uh, but uh, during coursework, you will find many subjects which will require some uh, level of coding. So it's uh, good if you are switching from core domain, you should practice uh, more from the online courses. And you will get uh, plenty of resources here in uh, uh, while studying PGDB also. So uh, my preparation journey, if you ask, like I was uh, working in Hindustan Zing, and while working, I was uh, very much inclined in mathematics. So I was uh, solving the papers for uh, other exams, other entrance exams like uh, ISI, QR, and all. So if you like solve uh, uh, for other exams also, if then also it, it helps. Uh, in PGDBA, there is as uh, such no particular requirement of uh, preparing something else. It's uh, more or less similar like CAT, but for the quant part, you have to uh, brush up your JMN uh, level uh, mathematics. Uh, and for interview, I uh, took uh, uh, one of coaching. Uh, so it was basically, uh, I, I actually uh, cleared uh, last year also, but I could not clear the 
uh, interview in last year. So I thought uh, that uh, maybe some uh, guidance would be required for this year and it helped actually. So interview preparation, I think is different uh, uh, if you ask me for the PGDBA because in interview, they uh, really ask some uh, very, very fundamental questions on um, uh, statistics, mathematics and probability. If you are from core background and if you have analytics background, then they will ask some analytics uh, questions also. Great, great, great. Uh, so uh, talking about the selection procedure, it is covered. What is PGDB that is covered? Now, since you have started uh, studying it, you have gone into the course and you are now seeing the rigor of the course. It involves three institutions and then uh, six months of internship stint. It has so much to uh, do in such a short uh, stint of time. Uh, so how, how is the pressure out there and, uh, you know, uh, how interesting or uh, how rigorous uh, the course uh, structure is? And how uh, should one deal with it? Uh, so basically, I am uh, right now in my first semester at ISI. So I cannot talk about IIT and uh, the final semester at IIM. But uh, from seniors, the, what I have uh, learned that the IIT semester is pretty hectic. And uh, basically, I have done the pre-sem at IIM Calcutta. And it was also hectic because uh, at first, uh, you were like you were coming from industry and you were coping up with a coursework that is too hectic with uh, involving three institutes. So, but I think it will not be a problem. The course is rigorous, uh, to be honest. But uh, uh, the best part about uh, this course is you have a very uh, diverse peer group, and along with them, you will learn. I, I think it will not be a problem. Great, great, great. Uh, so lastly, uh, uh, Santa, uh, I, I would like to ask that uh, this course being the curriculum that it is and uh, being not very popular as, as of, as of uh, MBA is concerned, you know, MBA these days is the is the buzzword, uh, whereas PGDB is something that is new, that, that is lucrative and that is producing great results. Uh, according to you, uh, do you recommend this course to others? Is it really worthy to do this course? And if it is, uh, then uh, how do the candidate find that whether this uh, course is a right fit for them? Uh, why should they at all come to this course? When do they feel that this is the course for me? Mm, and do you at all recommend it? Uh, so it's basically a niche course. Uh, so uh, if someone is uh, like interested in uh, this AI and ML uh, like uh, industry and uh, if someone basically loves data so you have to have an analytical mindset and then i think this is the best fit for that person because this course offers you three different uh, uh, like institutes uh, which is uh, like best in their own domain and you will uh, like you learn so much in that uh, two two years period and also uh, you have one industry internship at the end, which is uh, very much uh, like you get to uh, you get to utilize your uh, domain knowledge in uh, that six months period. So it's a basically a uh, like good amalgamation of this uh, 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 course work. So I think uh, for someone who is really interested in mathematics and really looking for a change. Uh, if you are coming from a core background, if uh, he wants to uh, work on uh, data science field. So I think he should try for this course. And uh, as the industries are ch changing, like for example, in different different domains, like for example, HR analytics, marketing analytics. So, so you will find that very interesting. I mean, uh, the coursework that you will, uh, if you go through this uh, coursework uh, in, uh, uh, in the website, you will find that uh, there are very interesting electives also, uh, along with the uh, core uh, courses. So according to your interest, you can pursue that also. Great, great, great. So basically, it is a course worth doing if you are a data enthusiast or an analytics enthusiast, because you have a lot to derive. There are parts of marketing analytics, there are parts of HR analytics, supply chain analytics, every, uh, uh, everywhere the data is being valued and data is the new oil of the industry as they call it. And, yes, yes. Uh, that's why that's why it is a course worth doing if you are 
interested if you are enthusiastic about handling a lot of data uh, so uh, and i was... think i missed uh, one of your questions sorry to interrupt yes uh, you asked about average salary so it yes. was uh, 29.71 lp uh, 2022 batch first okay that's a great way to actually end it up i was about to wrap it up because <laughs> you know that would give because salary is the is the one thing that triggers the person at the right at the beginning uh, before even the course yeah, work yeah, does uh, so uh, something close to a 30 lpa according to the uh, figures that are there on the net is something that is going to be enthusiastic for the people as well so along with a lot of data you get a lot of money as well so that's actually a great way to end it up so it was lovely talking to you uh, just just wrapping up the conversation uh, i would like to know any last minute tips for the for the people that are around the corner looking out at an opportunity maybe some people who is working in the manufacturing domain seeing you as their you know ideal or uh, or or uh, trying to learn uh, through your uh, footsteps any last minute tips that you would like to give to them of how to proceed at this very time of their career so if you have some background in analytics then it's very helpful uh then you can uh, look at the uh, like look at past year questions and look at how you can uh, like talk to seniors and all but if you don't have any background i think you should first uh, uh, go through some online courses and find if it is intriguing to you uh if uh, then you can uh, like go for past year questions and uh, you can check out the websites also and uh, i think the last minute suggestions that i would give is uh, what helped for me is Uh, basically practice more quant part and uh, the uh, verbal part is uh, is similar to a cat level and uh, luckily for the di and lr part it's very easy uh, like the trend was very easy for the past 5 6 years so and uh, for interview i think there should be some uh, extra preparation that you need to re- in you need uh, uh, along with the written part so for inter- interview is basically is very important for pgdpa because it uh, have 40% weighted so first clear the written and then <laughs> get at as much as marks you can get in the written that's it right so it's always a dicey situation in the interview you need to prepare a lot and a little differently so if you want a suggestions also you can get in uh, touch with sarta i'm going to provide his uh, linkedin uh, link there you can directly message him i think he will be more than happy to help you with your preparation or your processes as well so uh, wrapping it up uh, thank you once again sarta for uh, being a part of this uh, conversation i think it will definitely uh, help the people out there uh, so that's it uh, for uh, today and uh, if you like the content like the page uh, share the content with your friends and uh, relatives uh, subscribe to the channel we are going to make uh, more videos with the industry and academic experts uh, just like today uh, that's it for today thank you very much